Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, and today we have two incredible pieces of news that come as part of the Chapter 1000 celebrations. With that said, this news contains no manga spoilers whatsoever, and so I would encourage everyone to please stick around because you are almost certainly, definitely, definitely going to want to be a part of this. Just as you are almost certainly going to want to become part of the Grand Fleet by subscribing to the Grand Line Review, which will result in regular One Piece content being uploaded straight into your YouTube feed. This is important because we are inching very, very close to having 300 150,000 members and we will need the cooperation of each and every one of you for this next endeavor. Because along with the release of chapter 1000, the first amazing piece of news is a very interesting initiative that was announced on like all of the One Piece official accounts called the World Top 100. And in short, this is basically a global One Piece character popularity poll aimed at discovering the world's most favoritist characters rather than just Japan's. And firstly, may I just say that the announcement video is absolutely amazing. They've done this motion comic sort of thing with some of the greatest fights in the series, including Luffy versus Katakuri, the Straw Hats versus CP9, a bunch of Marineford stuff, and this video is well worth watching for that content alone. It looks so damn good. But if you are unaware, character popularity polls are nothing new to One Piece or anime and manga in general. However, they are usually conducted on a national basis, almost exclusively within Japan, although there have been a couple of other nation-centric polls, like an America one in the past. However, this is completely different. This is an officially conducted global poll that is going to prove once and for all who the most popular characters in One Piece are worldwide. Well, maybe not once and for all, but once and for all for now unless they do it again. But I thought this was a very important thing to bring up because after more than two decades, we non-Japanese fans finally have this chance to make our voices heard. So I would highly encourage you to vote in this poll and I will show you how to do so. There's a link in the description to the website, which is initially in Japanese, but there is an option to turn into English in the top right hand corner. But here are the rules of voting. Number one, once per day, you may place a single vote for one character of your choosing. And just as a side note, I do enjoy how many times they were able to work the number one into the first rule. Once per day, you may place a single vote for one character of your choosing. That is rule number one, also known as the triple ones. Rule number the second. Your daily vote may be placed after 12 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, which I believe is 9 p.m. American Eastern Standard Time and 3 a.m. European Time. Central European Time, that is. Uh, somewhere in Europe. I live in Australia, none of this matters to me. And finally, characters must be found and chosen by name search or by selecting the story arc of their first appearances in the series, which is really less of a rule and more of an instruction on how to vote, but still. It's also important to note that this poll has a time limit of roughly two months. It began on the 4th of January and it will end on the 20th of February, with you being able to cast your vote once per day for your character of choice. And this is also important because in addition to an overall winner, there is a daily selection of hot characters, which basically logs characters who have received the most votes on any given day. So for example, right now, if we go to that and select my part of the world, which is Oceana, because that's where Australia is, we will notice that the top three in this area of the world are currently Nico Robin in first place, Brooke in second, and Zoro in third. Once again, this isn't a grand total, it's just a daily log. So Robin is really smashing it on this opening day. But what's really interesting is that when you go to other parts of the world, so let's go to North America now, where we actually see Robin in first place again, well, wow. but second is Luffy followed by Chopper in third. So we have some very different first day preferences in the North American region. Meanwhile, in Europe, our daily hot characters are Brook in first, Usopp in second, and Jinbei in third, whoa. And then if we go to Japan, we see Nami in first actually, with Sanji in second place and Frankie in third. So there's all sorts of crazy combinations of straw hat love happening in very different realms. And I don't think there's currently a non-straw hat in these top three hot characters in any of the areas of the world, but I would like to change that. Because let's be real here. This isn't just a popularity poll. This is an opportunity for a social experiment. And the aim of that experiment, what I want to know, is if the Grand Fleet, aka Grand Line Review viewers, have the power to impact One Piece history. Like I said in the subplug, there are close to 350,000 subscribers to this channel. And if we combine our might, I think we can influence influence global events. So here's my proposal. Every day from now until the end of February, we are going to go to this website and register a vote for Whoopslap. Why Whoopslap do you ask? Who Whoopslap do you ask? Both highly valid questions, but I've selected Whoopslap because we need something of a control for this experiment. Because Whoopslap is, well, he's unlikely to receive many natural votes, so by using him, we can measure our direct impact. Also, Whoopslap is one of the oldest characters in the series. He was introduced all the way back in chapter one alongside Shanks and Luffy. So really, isn't it about time that Whoopslap got the recognition he so sorely deserves? I personally think so. So let's show you how to make our Whoopslap world dominate 
nomination quest to reality. So you go to the website and you scroll down until you see this gigantic vote button. You click that. And then it takes you to this page, which brings up a list of the straw hats, which is kind of cheating on their behalf because you don't actually have to search for them. Although they did do something very nice by including both Mary and Sonny on the list, which is adorable and heartbreaking, as per usual, whenever Mary is brought up. But what we want is right up here, the character search bar. And we just need to type in whoop slap, and even after a single whoop, he should pop up. And then we click him. Now, unfortunately, he does look very upset to have been selected as our favorite characters, but we're going to keep him anyway. Then we click this button down here, submit the vote, and we're done. It gets registered, and the good word of whoop slap spreads just that little bit further. Now, if you don't want to be part of the experiment, then shame on you, but you can also type in whatever other character you see fit. I don't know who else might be a good choice. Maybe, uh, maybe Sea Kitten? Oh, wow, the Sea Kitten. <laughs> sea Kitten's actually there. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But you can find just about anyone here and given that this whole thing is made to celebrate chapter 1000, I wouldn't be surprised if there were 1000 characters to choose from, because I mean, yeah, One Piece could probably cover that. But if you wanna take your time and go through them, there's also an option to go through the character list by saga. So we scroll down here and we say, see East Blue, click on that. And here we have all of our East Blue peeps, including Whoopslap, of course. And if you are voting for Whoopslap, then please do make your voice known in the comments below with a hashtag team Whoopslap, because I really think that the viewers of this super niche channel on YouTube can band together to make a global statement to One Piece fans everywhere. That statement being, of course, we like Whoopslap. So basically, I hope to wake up tomorrow and see Whoopslap as one of the hot three characters in as many areas of the world as possible. I mean, surely we can at least take North America. Like 50% of Grand Line Review viewers are American, so this is your time to shine, guys. And if Whoopslap does end up in any of the top threes, I will make sure to mention it in a video as well as thank all of you wonderful people. In addition, on this website, there's also a section that I must admit I don't quite understand. And it's like an augmented reality of some sort of Wano action figures, which are going to be released slowly over the course of the next two months, I guess. Right now we've only got Luffy, but you can manipulate him, make him go all woo hoo 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 and even look at his underwear if, if you know, it's a thing. It might not be, that's fine. Don't do it then. And I know that this is like a leaf stem or something, but it really looks like a cigar in Luffy's mouth, which gives me super strong crocodile feels. <laughs> But yeah, head over, make sure you vote for Whoop Slap today and every other day until the end of February, but that's not the only piece of news we have here. Because another initiative was launched, something I mentioned in a previous video, but it's called the One Piece 1000 Logs which is a fascinating little page that basically showcases the chapter covers of the first 1000 chapters of One Piece. So you can head there and go on quite an awesome journey actually, one that would be really great for anime only watchers as well. And once again, you enter it and it divides the series into sagas. So let's click East Blue again and whoa, look at how amazing this is. Every saga page has an introduction like this where it sends mildly anime to manga panels just flying straight at your face. And eventually it takes you through to this area where you can scroll through the entire saga, click at regular intervals and see all of the cover pages and color spreads, which is really cool. Like I haven't even done it all yet because 1000 is quite a few to get through. But one of the reasons why this would be super fun for anime only watches specifically is because you'd get to go through all of the cover story content in One Piece. And in case you didn't know, every chapter opens up with a cover page and Oda often uses these to tell like little side stories about what is happening elsewhere in the world. And almost none of this stuff ever makes it into the anime, which is simply criminal. So for example, let's go to the Water 7 era. And first up, we have another really cool set of panels. Oh my God, they're so epic. But if we go about here and yes, bam, we find ourselves in the Gadatsu cover story. This follows his mishaps after he fell down from Skypiea and basically he meets Koza's uncle and the two of them start working together to build a hot springs resort. Except that Gadatsu is absolutely useless and sticking sandwiches in his ear and everything. And most of them are pretty fun like that, but some of them actually contain pretty monumentally important information. And what I'm thinking of specifically occurs in chapter 666. So we've got to scroll even further into the New World Era. And oh wow, look at this, we're diving down into Fishman Island. I love these so much. But we move to about here, scroll to chapter 666 and look at this cover story, which casually reveals that Bong Clay is still alive. And not only is he alive, he is now the queen of Newcomerland in Impel Down, taking Ivankov's spot. And for whatever reason, this information never made it into the anime, which is absurd because it's almost certainly going to be a pivotal plot point in the future. And when it does happen, anime only watches are gonna be all like, oh, I thought he was dead. He's not, he's alive. 
and glorious. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but seriously, just give this site a visit, if only for the super cool animations. And another thing is that upon entering the 1000 Logs website, you will be greeted with a letter from Echiro Oda himself. And a lot of it is just him being incredibly humble and thanking all of the fans who have supported One Piece over the last 24 years or so. He does also make specific note that for quite some time, he avoided calling readers fans actually, because he didn't want to get too full of himself or take the decision that people make to read One Piece for granted, which is ridiculously humble for, you know, the best selling mangaka of all time, but there you have it. It really is the final paragraph of this letter that hits me pretty hard though, where Oda says, I have a favor to ask. This is for everyone with whom by some means or another, I've managed to create a bond. In other words, the One Piece fans of the world. My story is a long one, but just for a while longer, please watch over Luffy and his crew as they continue their adventure. So that's pretty hard hitting because it's another one of those reality signals that One Piece really is coming to an end in the near future. Whether that's four, five, six years, whatever, it is still there within plain sight, which is more than it used to be back in the days when it seemed like One Piece could just stretch on into infinity. But whatever's left, let's continue to enjoy the journey. And in conclusion, please do also vote for Whoop Slap in the World Top 100 Popularity Contest. This man needs his recognition. But what do you guys think? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below or even join my Discord server. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please do go and check out some of my other content or even subscribe to the channel for more glorious One Piece business uploaded straight into your YouTube feeds. But for now, this has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.